Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Acer Spin 5. It's the 15 inch version, not the 13 inch. It's, uh, it's probably com very comparable uh, to the uh, Lenovo 720, but it's been updated with the uh, 8th gen Coffee Lake um, i7855U CPU. Now that's a, that's a 15 watt CPU versus uh, the 45 watt i7-7700HQ in the, the Lenovo. So it should give some extra good uh, battery life. And now of course it is four core i7-855U compared to what it used to be a dual core. Uh, with hyper threading, so what we've got inside must be the international uh, warranty. Setup guide. Now it's quite, it feels fairly heavy for its thickness. All right, so. <laughs> well, I don't know if the camera makes it out, but it's like a, a brushed aluminum uh, lid, um, but uh, it's got a bit of a tartan pattern to it. It's a bit, you know, it's not only been brushed one direction, but it's been brushed in the other direction too. So it gives a, Give us a distinctive look. I quite like it actually, it's different. And it does have a certain bit of heft to it. Now it is a, uh, a two and one, so it does do the uh, good old four different modes. So we've got uh, you know, the laptop mode. We've got presentation mode, <laughs> tent mode. And, and the good old tablet mode. So obviously it does have touch support. Now it has a 1080p, uh, it's a full HD IPS display. So it'd be, it'll be 60 hertz, um, but it has a GTX 1050 in it with four gigabytes of RAM. Now the Lenovo Yoga only had two gigabytes of RAM. So I wonder if that will make any difference in the, in, in the gaming benchmarks. It uh, only has eight gigabytes of uh, DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM. To be fair, that should be okay, uh, but I think it can't be uh, maxed out. That is maxed out. I don't think you can put any more in there. And it strangely, you know, for nine hundred ninety-nine dollars, it doesn't come with an SSD. In this day and age, yeah, it just comes with a mechanical spinning hard drive. So I will uh, look to take the back off and have a look inside, of course. Now, of course, it does have a fingerprint reader, like uh, like them all these days, which is nice. And it does seem to have a nice. But it's got a big trackpad. Now, no dedicated buttons, but that should still be okay. Now, it looks a bit at the top here. You do have some, a big speaker grill. So, looks like the speakers will fire into, into the back there. Um, there's certainly nothing here at the, at the front. So, that would seem to be about it. Um, in terms of, can we open it with one hand? Now, there's no lip here to pick it up. So, that's a little bit, a bit tough. And, of course, then, it's not too bad. Bit of a wobbly screen though, you know, for a touch screen, it's quite wobbly. And of course, it's a glossy display and will show a, a lot of the fingerprints, which is part of the course for these things. The hinges look quite robust. You know, I think they're gonna take some, some good punishment. And you can see the uh, rear exhaust here to help keep it cool. Intakes, we've got some nice big intake uh, vents there. So let's um, compare it in size uh, to the uh, Lenovo. It's actually quite a bit bigger look. I'd say it's a good three quarters of an inch or 19 or 20 millimeters or so longer. And it's also about the same depth wise. That's, that's, that's peculiar. But you know, it does, it's got the four gigabyte uh, GTX 1050, so who knows? It's got a, a webcam, is a part of the course, a 720p webcam. Don't uh, expect anything uh, for 1080p in this, uh, this price range. So uh, let's uh, take a look at its ports. So on the left hand side, we have the uh, power connector, we have HDMI, we've got a USB uh, 3.1 Type C port, no Thunderbolt port now. The uh, Lenovo Yoga 720 had uh, Thunderbolt. And we've got two USB 3.0 ports. And uh, obviously here it uh, shows that you could uh, be powered as well. So one of them is powered. Nothing around the front. Around the left-hand side, we've got a couple of indicator lights. 
Um, of course, it's got a backlit uh, keyboard, so perhaps that's uh, what that refers to, and uh, the battery. And um, we've got uh, nice, we do have a volume rocker here at the side, so when you're in tablet mode, you'll be able to uh, change that. That's something uh, the Yoga didn't have. And we've got a headphone microphone combo jack, an SD card reader, and then we've got a USB 2 port. And uh, there's the, uh, the power connector and the Kensington lock. And as I say, around the back, just the, just the air vents. All right, let's uh, have a look at the weight. We're showing uh, 4.15 pounds. And let's uh, test the, uh, the Yoga 720. 4.9 pounds, so it uh, does weigh less than the, the Yoga. And the comparative thickness test, let's see. They both look pretty similar in thickness. In fact, one thing you notice, different to the Yoga, is a, does have a separate number pad, and that explains its extra length look. So that was good, you do get a separate number pad up for, for this. So that, that can mean a lot uh, for, for quite a few people. Okay, so it does, it comes with a 90 watt power brick and it's got a long, long connector. And I do like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's longer than arm, arm's length. So that's, uh, that's good. Now, one thing I do notice, you can't tell here, I've tried turning it on, but there's no battery. It has, does have bigger bezels than the, uh, the Lenovo Yoga 720. Um, but of course, it's a, it's a bigger chassis, still only a 15.6 inch uh, uh, screen. So it's going to have bigger bezels. Now I am looking forward to testing out uh, its uh, Windows Ink support. Now it didn't have a pen in the box, but uh, it does have uh, uh, pen support for sure. And it, uh, I believe it is Entrig technology. So I look forward to doing a bit of a test comparing that to the uh, Lenovo Yoga 720. I'm also looking forward to seeing how that CPU gets on the i7-8550U 15 watt CPU. Um, as I say, it's a 1.8, has a 1.8 gigahertz base clock, turbo boosts up to four. And I think that's pretty sweet for a 15 watt power. And if I can push it a bit further, perhaps increase, it, increase its wattage a little bit, that would be great. So I'll look at the temperatures and I'll do all the gaming benchmarks as well. But if you do have any, any further tests you'd like me to do, please put a comment in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.